The Eiffel Tower is the most visited now in the world. Actually, there's millions of tourists every year coming here. So uh, there's no way you can privatize the Eiffel Tower. You can't shut it down just for a shoot. When they give you one hour to shoot in the elevators, well, you have one hour sharp. You have to be out of this before, before they, they open for the tourists. So it's, it's pretty sharp. You have to be tight on the schedule. The more we move into the movie, actually the less postcardish look of Paris you get, and the grittier and dirtier you get, and more close to what Paris actually really is. It's a different mindset. You, you use your body in in a different way in a in a in an action movie, and as long as it's well written and it's well directed, I love it. We really had fun shooting the uh, what we call the mannequin shootout scene. Our goal, in a way, was to make a little homage to John Who by making it like very choreographed. So that was our John Who scene. John Who makes balletic st stunts. I think that if I didn't have this dancing, that I could do it, but it wouldn't be as uh, as fluid. What is great with John with like all his dancing background, he he has that memory of moves. So when you show him a, a fight choreography, you show him a couple of times, he reverses like two, three times, and that's it. He knows it by heart. Finding that location was tough. They had to look a lot, a lot, a lot before they find that that staircase thing. Yeah. Shooting in, in the staircase is always a nightmare. I mean, it's, it's always tiny, it's packed, everybody has to go up and down all the time. It's very, it, it's exhausting. So uh, this one took us a while to shoot, but it was. Um, it was fun because it was the first time you could have people bouncing one another and just falling all the way down. It was fun. It was fun. Messieurs, je vous explique. Il y a Wax, Wax et Riz, les deux personnages du film, qui courent et qui, dans cet escalier, vont rentrer à l'étage du dessus. Et vous, vous les poursuivez. Vous êtes arrivé de l'appartement Wong au-dessus et vous les poursuivez. Donc là, le but, ça va être de trouver un bon timing. C'est-à-dire qu'une fois que eux seront passés, il faut qu'on trouve le timing pour que vous, vous soyez à leur trousse, sans que vous soyez à touche-touche, parce que vous n'êtes pas censé les rattraper tout de suite. Donc vous, votre place de départ, elle est par là. Silence, s'il vous plaît. Attention, on ne bouge plus, on ne parle plus. schedule we call this one the uh, the Chinese rain scene but it's raining Chinese people um, what was tough is that on that specific spot we could not have that place forever so we had to uh, rehearse in other locations but we only saw what it got, what was gonna look like when we got on the day and um, there's no way we can storyboard that <laughs> <laughs> 